Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to add a project in Mantis Bug Tracker. So let's start. Let's log in into the application. Okay, so we came on the landing page. Uh, now for adding or creating a new project, we have to come to this manage tab that is highlighted here. Click on this manage tab and then click on uh, the manage projects. Okay. So these are the set of projects that are present as of now. And these are uh, like the global categories. I'll uh, tell you in some time. Okay, so let's create a new project and uh, see what all fields are required for its creation. We will click on this button, click create new project. Okay, so add project uh, dialog box is opened. Now it is asking first field is the project name. So you can give uh, any name as per the project. So I'll give some test project name. Okay, so I have given the name as test project two. Now you have to select the status of this project. So status means uh, here we have uh, four kinds of uh, st statuses. Uh, development, release, stable and obsolete. So development means like your project is in the development phase. Uh, release means like some part of your project uh, is about to release and can be uh, given to QA. Uh, stable means some uh, like your project is now ready, uh, stable and uh, it can be handed over to uh, QA for testing. And obsolete as the name suggests uh, this project is now uh, in not in use. So as of now, I will select it as development. Now, inherit global categories. So there are some categories that are defined. Uh, if you want, this project should inherit those categories. Categories like, uh, uh, say, I have defined some sample categories like testing and development. Uh, application one application two so if you want this particular project to inherit those categories so you have to check on this uh, checkbox and it will inherit those categories coming to next point uh, that is the view status view status are of two types like public and private public means this project is uh, visible to everyone and private means this uh, project is visible to a particular user and last one is the description. So here you have to uh, describe uh, about your project, the details, uh, uh, what all uh, uh, like coverage is there, what all things will be tested and uh, what is, you know, uh, like uh, what are the different stages, different types of testings that will be performed, etc. So uh, like all the description related to your test project. So after filling all these fields, uh, you have to, uh, you know, click on uh, add project, just click on add. So operation is successful and your project is added. And you will be able to see your project here, test project two. So this project is added here and see the categories I was talking about global categories. So in as of now, we have defined some test categories as development, uh, general testing. So if you want, you can add any other category as well. You can give here like uh, application one and you can click on add category. So see this application one category is added here. Similarly, you can edit this category. Click on edit button. You want to change something, some, you know, name or some anything. And you can give the assignee as well. So this category belongs to which, uh, you know, user. And as soon as you click on update category, operation is successful and yes, see here, this is the category that just now we edited and uh, assigned to Mantis login like 
uh, like whosoever the user you want to assign to so uh, another action here you can see out is uh, delete if you want to delete this category that category is no longer required just click on this delete button and it will ask you uh, like are you sure you want to delete click on delete category operation is successful so your category is deleted see that category is no more here okay so this is how we add a new project uh, you will get all the details out here status uh, enabled and you know public or private and the description so I hope uh, this is clear to you all if you have any doubts you can put your comments and uh, I'll be happy to help you out thank you very much guys for uh, watching my tutorial and we will meet uh, in the next uh, tutorial with uh, another topic till then take care bye bye and if you like the video please share and subscribe my channel and never forget always keep learning and share your knowledge thank you very much bye bye